Thank you so very much, Hilary Dereva, for that riveting interview. And I really hope I said your name right this time. My name is Valentine, or at Color Me Val. And you're still watching Why in the Morning, the latest breakfast show around. And if you don't believe me, in fact, don't even take my word for it. Just watch us Monday through Friday, 7 a.m. through 10 a.m. Our day, every, every single day, we have different themes for you, different ways to excite you and entertain you. Please appreciate. And in case you miss an interview or you just want to watch it again, at White 54 channel on YouTube is where you need to be. So this is the health segment on Monday. And today we're discussing child nutrition. See, nyo nyo, mm -mm, from two all the way to, what did we say? 11? 11, 11. Yes. all right, there we go. So this is my lovely guest and I'll let her introduce herself. Good morning. Good morning. How are you? Fine, thank you. Welcome to studio. Thank you. What is your good name? My name is Nyambura Nyaga. Mm -hmm. Yes, I'm a nutritionist mm -hmm. and a dietitian. And I'm also a mother. So mm -hmm. when I'm talking about child nutrition, it's something that I've had. Practical hands on. Yes. Uh -huh. yes, yes. Why do you prefer, uh, this has nothing to do with anything, but why do you prefer your, your names like that? Because if I had introduced you, I would have introduced you with the other one. It's just preference? Yes. Yeah, it makes you feel yeah. more African. Yes. Okay, I mm. see you African queen. Yes. Talk to me about, what is child nutrition? Just a few seconds ago, I was being educated on uh, malnutrition. Let's start with that. What's malnutrition? Okay, when you talk about malnutrition, mm -hmm. we mean the deficiencies that come, I mean the, the effects of both overtaking something, mm -hmm. that is overeating something, mm -hmm. a specific type of food, like when we talk about you've eaten too much proteins, too much carbohydrates, and the child is obese, too much weight. Mm -hmm. That is malnutrition in terms of you've overeaten. Mm -hmm. And there's a malnutrition in terms of under, you've not had enough of something, you are lacking, your body is lacking in a certain nutrient or a certain group of food, mm -hmm. and now you are undernourished in a certain area. So when we say malnutrition, mm -hmm. we refer to both overeating or undereating of a certain specific nutrient in foods. That was very fascinating to me to, to imagine that you can have too much of something like, yes. wow. Okay, so the body is capable of retaining, retaining, retaining to the point where it's becoming useless now. It's becoming harmful to me. Yes. Yeah. Ah, yeah. Okay. So let's break this down a bit. And I, if it's okay, if we can study them, boys and girls separate. So it's two all the way to 11. So they're, yes. they're growing, they're infants. And there's a lot of these things we studied, by the way, in biology. So we know the girls, you know, uh, tall a bit, develop and all these things. And boys... Uh, grow taller, they have an Adam's apple, their voice breaks, and all these things. And I, I don't know, it's genetically proven that guys are stronger than girls. So yes. does that mean they need more food than us? Does that translate into that? It does, uh -huh. it does. But at this age, when we were starting from 2 to 11, mm -hmm. we've not really seen so much of the differentiation between the gender, mm -hmm. like the boys and the girls. But at this stage, when you look at them, the characteristics are the same. Mm -hmm. They are all physically developing. Mm -hmm. When you look at the structural, they are growing tall, which you talk about uh, uh, length. Mm -hmm. they're also the bone, mm -hmm. they're gaining the strength. If it's about uh, the teeth, mm -hmm. they're developing. Mm -hmm. They are more the same on the same uh, sort of age. The, the, the growth is, the curve is the same. Mm -hmm. Only that, when it comes to the boys now, mm -hmm. they seem to retain, mm -hmm. you know, they, if you look at a boy and a girl grow, mm -hmm. you see like the girl is growing faster. Mm -hmm. You see the boys take time, but mm -hmm. when they grow now, they it's become... A spurt. Yes, eh. It's a spurt. Yes, and then it comes with the energy. Uh -huh. Yes. Oh, that's why, unazenda mali, unapata monome na kula chaposita, where is all yeah, that yeah. going to? Yes. Okay. Yes. All right. So, okay. is... It right to say that, okay, let me rephrase this a little bit so I don't step on toes. Nutrition is, is across the board. It does not matter where you're from, your yes. level of income or yeah. your, your power of spending. Yes. Because at each level, we can attain a balanced diet. It doesn't yes. matter whether I can afford bacon or not, if I can afford to have supplements, you know, or not. So maybe help me understand the basics without adding any decorative flowers. What is basic nutrition, child nutrition? What do they need on a daily? You, you put it very well. Mm -hmm. when, when we talk about nutrition, we, we say it's a science. 
And when some, something is a science, mm. it's proven. Mm -hmm. What happens to you when you eat an orange is the same thing that will happen to me when I eat the same orange. Mm -hmm. So, and it's the same, now that's why we're saying nutrition is a science. Mm -hmm. So when we talk about child nutrition, we are talking about the effects of food mm -hmm when it comes to growth, mm -hmm. the development, mm -hmm. disease prevention, or disease eradication, like a child has already a disease. So we want to look at what is it, what food can this child eat mm -hmm. to help them grow. When you're talking about growth, mm -hmm. we are talking about structural growth. You know, the urefu, mm -hmm. they need to be tall, they need to have strong bones, they mm -hmm. need to have strong teeth, that is the structural. Mm -hmm. They need to have ad ideal weight, we, need, we are looking at cognitive development. Mm -hmm. Is their brain developing? Mm -hmm. And optimally, because the brain can develop, mm -hmm. but not optimally. Mm -hmm. And you find that a child, when they go to school, if their brain did not develop optimally, they have issues with attention. Mm -hmm. They have issues with concentration. Mm -hmm. They have issues with memory. Mm -hmm. So we are looking at this. What can we give a child so that by the time they are, we make sure they are they are developing mm -hmm. in all aspects of their life mm -hmm. and we make sure that that development is optimal mm -hmm. yes in in our day and age or this era where google is our best friend and we can just google any types of symptoms so your child is there hyperactive because maybe you fed him all the wrong or her all the wrong things but suddenly it's a hyperactive jumping around everywhere even the teachers are complaining your child cannot sit still and then you google and then you find out it's add or cg autism mm -hmm. and now you start treating something that could have just been fixed by what's happening in your kitchen how do i prevent that okay Basically, mm -hmm. you need to observe your child. Mm -hmm. Normally, 2 to 11, children are hyper. Mm -hmm. But if you notice your child has issues with concentration and they forget, mm -hmm. you ask them something that happened outside and they can't remember. It's, it's normal mm -hmm. because, you know, things are juggled up in their minds. Mm -hmm. But when they sit still, they should be able to sort of recollect. Mm -hmm. If they've gone to school, they should be able to tell you this, what my teacher's name is this. But you see that they're forgetting basic things. Mm -hmm. Then you need to be concerned. Mm -hmm. And again, if you see that a child can't stay still, mm -hmm. even for two minutes, they're always, you know, they're fidgety and they just want to have something on their hands. Then that could be a sign of. ADHD. Mm -hmm. But all these other things, mm -hmm. you know, it's, it, there's a very small thin line mm -hmm. because children are normally active. Mm -hmm. So it may, be, it may not be very easy mm -hmm. for, you to, for you to understand, mm -hmm. but it's good. That's why we say it's good to take your child to what we call growth monitoring. Mm -hmm. When you take them to hospital for the checkup, the, the postnatal clinics, mm -hmm. uh, you know, actually, ideally, it should run up to five years. But most parents drop it after nine months. But wow, nine months versus five yes. years is a lot. <laughs> yes, uh -huh. you see what happens is the, the immunization, mm -hmm. they stop at nine months. So parents don't have time to continue oh. with, the, with the reviews. Mm. But it's very important mm -hmm. if you continue with the reviews mm -hmm. because when this you keep interacting with your doctor, the mm -hmm. doctor can pick something that you as a parent cannot, cannot pick. Mm. Yes. Hey, that's magical. Okay, so... Let's zero in on the cognitive one for a little bit. Yes. I know it's, okay, Mr. Jaza, please, but I can assume that it's every parent's dream for their child to, you know, be president one day or something like that, you know, do their yeah. very best, thrive and all these things. So yeah. if I want my, my child to grow and to mentally grow sana sana, what are the nutrients that I'm looking at? Sana sana to samaki, but samaki is squeezy, kona lead and poisonings, yeah. but we've been told, and they've not paid for the promo but such things like cod liver oil or other type of supplements. Uh, do they have any basis? Is there truth in it? Am I yes, I told you it's a science. Mm -hmm. It's proven. Mm -hmm. It's the same in Kenya. It's the same in Europe. It's the same wherever <laughs> you go. Mm -hmm. And so I, I want to answer you by saying, if you want your child to be to get to their optimal in terms of cognitive, mm -hmm. you need to start now. You're talking about which other. You need to start now mm -hmm. because your nutrition, when you conceive, your nutritional status mm -hmm. determines what kind of a child you, you, will, you, will, you will have. Mm -hmm. And one of the factors that affect even children when they are born mm -hmm. is their maternal nutrition during pregnancy. Mm -hmm. So the moment you, like for example, if you don't have enough blood mm -hmm. and you conceive, the placenta mm -hmm. that, that 
feeds is used to feed the child mm -hmm. develop during the first 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 the first month so if you've not had enough iron levels you as a mother mm -hmm. that means that the placenta that will form mm -hmm. will not be optimal will not will not be strong oh. enough mm -hmm. and then that means that even your child mm -hmm. will be affected so if you want ideally mm -hmm. you should purpose you should plan to mm -hmm. conceive don't just oops oh, I'm pregnant oh, oh, yeah. and then you and, so yes mm -hmm. and, and then you you, you 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 are low hb you don't have enough energy you don't have enough calcium mm -hmm. you pass that to your child mm -hmm. the, fortunately for for some things like calcium there is room for growth for mm -hmm. for improvement once the child is born. born but for iron a child is born with their iron stores for the next six months wow. because the mother's milk does not have iron oh okay. yes so the mother's milk, which you give to a child for mm -hmm. the first six months, mm -hmm. does not have any iron. But the baby needs it. The baby is born with enough, oh. ideally should be born with enough iron stores mm -hmm. to last them six months. Mm -hmm. So if they are born with in deficiency, mm -hmm. so they live forever with deficiency. And it's worse if mm -hmm. it's a girl mm -hmm. because they pass it on. Oh. Yes. You, you, if you don't get to overcome the mm -hmm. deficiency, that means you go to puberty with deficiency. When you start your menses, mm -hmm. you're having a deficiency. Again, you see it's a cycle. When you conceive, you conceive. And mm -hmm. you, you have increased chances of even giving birth to a low birth weight infant. Oh. Yes. So nutrition is, is, is serious. Mm -hmm. It's serious. That's an intense domino effect. From yes. the time when I was conceived to the time that I am conceiving yes. the same. Yes. Where? Okay, that's a lot. What happens to, we, we said we're concentrating to kids between 2 and 11. Yes. And what happens to girls who have their menses, you know, around that time? Because there are some girls who yes. have very, very early onset of menses. Yes. I, I got mine just before class 5, so sanilinia, I don't know. I can't About remember. 10 years? That's that, no, wait, no. 11 up or 11? Yes. <gasps> Most Actually, that's me. Yeah, yeah. Most, <laughs> most most of them will start at eleven. Okay, so yes. so what was the proper maybe diet and nutrition for me? Because now I'm losing blood, you know. Yes. What was happening there? Ideally, you should just have a HB check mm -hmm. to just tell where are you at. What is a HB? HB is hemoglobin level. Mm -hmm. So you just check how much blood do you have, mm -hmm. like especially the red. Hemoglobin is the red blood cells. The, the, yeah, the red blood cells in your blood. Mm -hmm. So the, they they contribute in making you making the blood. Mm -hmm. So when you check and you have a check, and it's, it should not be for a girl. It should not be anything less than ten. Mm -hmm. So it's ten to about sixteen. Mm -hmm. You're okay. If it's below or it's on the border, mm -hmm. then. Uh, you need to get supplementation immediately. You mm -hmm. get you start taking iron supplements or folic acid. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah, that's intense. Okay, but again, I want us to look across the board. What happens to this parent who cannot really afford to go doing HB checks? Like, all I have to do is just look at my child. Okay, the best I can do right now is provide you with the sanitary care that you need and the nutrition. So, how, how do there, I know? There are ways you can observe. You can just do your finger like this and just okay. check uh -huh. how, how fast does the blood come back you look at the color of your eyes if they are very white mm -hmm. and then of course there are dizzy spells if your girl is complaining about dizziness th those are some of the signs that they don't have enough blood your dizziness i sound remember no 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 oh. it's just it could be if they're not pregnant mm -hmm. it could just mean they don't have enough iron levels in the body mm -hmm. yes all right, so is there a, a situation where boys develop a bit earlier for their age and need supplements as well, or they need extra special attention in their nutrition? Everyone needs special attention, because like when you're talking about cognitive development, when you're talking about cognitive development, we want that, you know, the brain to develop to its optimal level. And we don't want, if it's also about structural, we don't want a child with rickets. Mm. You know rickets, the one that the legs are like apart like this, mm -hmm. or knocked knees. Mm -hmm. Yes, the, mm -hmm. the, the knees knock on each other. All those are effects of like calcium. So we want to be very specific about what we are giving our child in terms of quantity mm -hmm. and in terms of quality. So yes, about supplementation, if you cannot get a proper 
it's not something I would say that you can look at your child and decide you'll give them something. Supplementation should be advised mm -hmm. by a professional medical or a nutritionist. A medical doctor, a clinical officer, it's not something that you look at your child and you say, I think I'll give them this. Mm -hmm. Yes, it's not, it's not ideal. Mm -hmm. Of course, there are those ones that the doctors will keep telling you, like the, the cod liver oil, you know, just a spoonful every day. It's very rich in vitamin A. Mm -hmm. We have some with omega, omega 3 and 6, which are very good for the brain development. Mm -hmm. But supplementation, I wouldn't tell you that. Just look at it and give your child. Mm -hmm. Don't make that decision. Have your child reviewed mm -hmm. and then uh, you, you'll be properly advised. And again, supplementation should never substitute a healthy diet. Like it supplements, mm -hmm. does not substitute. Mm -hmm. So in as much as a child is on supplements, they must have a healthy diet. You mm -hmm. must plan properly for their meals. How do you deal with fussy eaters? I have a baby cousin who, eh, it takes a meeting for her to eat. Like it's 30 minutes of all of us just encouraging her. Yeah! And and there's one child who will stop eating when they're tired. Yes. Hakuna <laughs> kushiba, it's just yes. getting tired. So how do you deal with that? And mwenye hakuli sana, what's, you, you give a little of a lot of nutrients. So what should I focus there and what should I focus on this other one? Okay, I think... I think it's... The, the, we, we have a way... You see that, that oh, the way you're saying, like, you all of you and now are telling this young, you're cheering. Mm. Yes. Don't eat. Yes, those mm -hmm. are some of the the, the things that a child mm -hmm. can relate with food. Mm -hmm. Because if you all make this child know that if it's meal time, they must be a cheering squad. <laughs> they will always start relating uh -huh. food with a cheering squad. Uh -huh. So we must be very careful mm -hmm. how we what we are training our kids we to. We think we are doing the, a good thing. You, you mean well, oh, but yes. at times it could have detrimental, detrimental effects. Because effects. Uh -huh. what happens if there is no sharing school? Mm -hmm. Yes. So when a child is fussy, th that it, it's, it's, it happens. Mm -hmm. During this, especially two to four years, mm -hmm. they are very particular. You will say it takes so long for them to finish one slice of bread mm -hmm. in the morning. And you are like, oh, I just need you to take this before you Please, go to school. Eh. Yes. But what happens is, if, if you don't have in a lot of time, you can look for something that is energy dense. Mm -hmm. For example, you can give them milk, mm -hmm. you can give them a protein mm -hmm. and a small carbohydrate. For example, if they can eat an egg mm -hmm. or take a, take a cup of milk mm -hmm. without something that is small but dense mm -hmm. in terms of nutrients. Mm -hmm. If someone is a very good eater mm -hmm. on the other side, just control on the quantity. Because again, as we said, mm -hmm. we don't want a child who can comfortably finish seven sausages in the morning and you're okay with it. Mm -hmm. The effects will be coming up soon. Mm -hmm. So they will catch up with that child soon. They will start having issues with breathing because they have too much fat and then the system is clogged. Mm -hmm. And the two will still have issues, health mm -hmm. issues. The one who doesn't eat and the one who eats too much. So let's be keen on quantity mm -hmm. and quality. But sometimes in an uh, African type of setting, the first thing is, wait, they don't give you food where you are. Your parents are not feeding you. And if you are looking some type of thick, thick, it doesn't matter whether that thick is healthy thick or not mm. healthy thick. They are okay. Mm. You know how to eat. You know your way around yeah. the kitchen. Yes. Is there like a, a stigma around this thing as Africans? If, if, if you look at personally, when I was, I was growing up, we never had, okay, children who are overweight mm -hmm. like in the whole of my school because before you see a child mm -hmm. we s remember we said they are very active mm -hmm. so they eat but the output is equally very high mm -hmm. so if you see you know calories in calories out so if you see a child who is overweight mm -hmm. at this stage that means they are taking more than the output. Mm -hmm. So you may not necessarily need to stop on the intake. Mm -hmm. You may need to work on the output. Oh. Let them stop the, the video games. Let them go out and kick a football. Mm -hmm. Let them run. Let them do something. Yes, what it may not yes. necessarily mean mm -hmm. it's what they're eating is wrong. Mm -hmm. It could just mean they're eating yes, but the output. Mm -hmm. Maybe they're just watching cartoon. Mm -hmm. Yes. From morning to yes. evening. After school, it's just for yes. staying. Yes. Maybe the school, you don't want sports. <laughs> ah, yes. yeah, yeah, go run. Oh. Do you know how I wish they just give me PE time? They used to hate PE when I was in school. I wish we they need to have the double PE now. Hey, kwa double double. Yes. Woo. 
Okay, now and and this is also something else that mm -hmm. is coming up mm -hmm. that never was was never there. It's something that okay, I know the government is doing something about vitamin A supplementation. If you look right now, you can find a child who is in class one, mm. but they're already putting on glasses. Yes. 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 That, a few years back, that was, was, was unheard of. Mm. Yeah. Children never used to start having issues with the eyes at that age. And they are yeah. thick they glasses. They are thick glasses mm. because this child has vitamin A deficiency from pregnancy. Oh. By the time they are seven years, they just need glasses. So those are some of the deficiencies that we are talking about. Mm -hmm. Like vitamin A, it, the body can actually store it. Mm -hmm. So it, the body stores. Not all vitamins the body can store, but vitamin A, the body can store. And so by the time you're deficient you, you, with vitamin A, that means someone has really worked hard to make you deficient. It really worked hard. <laughs> yes. Okay, I'm, I'm thinking because, I, I, okay, in my... I want to say research, but in Kwongea to Nawatu, I, I sometimes understand that a lot of times pregnancy is not planned for. And we, s we spend, as a culture, we spend a lot of time I don't spend time to think, okay, I am now carrying life. Eh? I need to start checking what I'm eating, what I'm, as opposed to the mm. you know. What's, what's going to happen if I don't take these things right now? What's going to happen in the future? Jota toka, see, or forever. So maybe we need lessons, we, we, me including, because so I need you to need know to what plan. to do in the future. Now eh? that you know, <laughs> for you plan for it. Mm -hmm. uh, make sure you have enough iron mm -hmm. and calcium. You mm -hmm. could start, check with the doctor and get a supplementation. Again, once you realize as a woman that you're pregnant, mm -hmm. remember it's not about you. Mm -hmm. It now stops being about you. Mm -hmm. Go to a clinic, have yourself checked, and some of these like the, 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 the government has a very good plan. Mm -hmm. It gives iron and folic acid for free. Wow. It gives you that calcium. You, you just need to present yourself. And don't wait for when it's now one month to deliver. To deliver mm -hmm. Because nothing can be done at that time. Mm -hmm. Very little. What the body will do, you know the way the body works. Mm -hmm. The body will make sure it drains you because it gives the baby priority. Mm -hmm. So the baby, the body will drain you. So all your calcium, all your iron will be drained to make sure that the baby is given priority. So what will translate when you give birth is also you will also become very weak. Mm -hmm. You know those dizzy spells, now they will increase. And then you start mm. having issues with your back, with your knees, with your, you know, you also, you are hallowed. Uh -huh. Yeah, because you did not get optimal nutrition. So please, if you can't plan, just know that. You may carry the baby and you may give birth to a normal baby, mm -hmm. but you will also be equally affected. Wow. Yes. <sighs> I hope we are taking notes, guys, at White 54 on Facebook, at White 54 channel on Twitter. Hashtag is Why in the Morning. Okay, so we've covered physical, we've covered cog cognitory, yes. Cognitive. Cognitive, yes. sorry. Uh, what about these? Uh, okay, they're not, I don't want to say they're unimportant. I, but I don't think they usually stand by themselves. Things like language, if, if my child is taking longer to speak than the rest or taking longer to put strings together, is that a problem with my child or is it something I can fix with the diet? And when can you tell when there's a problem that I can fix or it's genetic? Because, okay, okay, I have a first answer on that one. I have so many questions. <laughs> ah, it's okay. Uh -huh. So when, when it's about mm -hmm. your child development, mm -hmm. okay, it, it, it happens that there are some, you, you find that some families, a child will make the first step when they are three years. Mm -hmm. Others, the child will walk when they are nine months. Mm -hmm. Yeah, there are those, those issues with, with genetics. For, for speech, mm -hmm. but, but there is a guideline eh, when, when you keep doing monitoring. Eh, mm -hmm. The doctors, when you keep going for the growth monitoring, the doctor will tell you, now this one, something is wrong. By now, this child should be should be doing this, maybe should be crawling. But if the child is just staying still, there's no sign of development, like structural, like the, you know, the crawling, even trying to pull themselves, then something is wrong. But there's some that could be, yes, genetically. Mm -hmm. And you could find that for some, it's just lack of, if, if you live in a big house, mm -hmm. this child has no one to talk to. 
you know, for you to learn how to talk, Aww. someone needs to talk to you. Yes. <laughs> yes. Nowadays you are just leaving. Aww. Maybe you just leave them with the maid, and the house help has other jobs. So they just put the baby in a corner somewhere and give them many toys, and put on the cartoon. <laughs> and that's yes. Us, yeah. And, and uh, you know, the, if the Aww. child does not have someone to talk to mm. them. As opposed to another child who stays with other siblings, maybe, or stays with other children. Kwa ploti. Yeah, kwa ploti. Mm. Yeah, so there are many factors. Mm -hmm. There are genetic, there are environmental factors, mm -hmm. and also, of course, there are other health factors. Mm -hmm. If a child is constantly sick, yeah, their, their, their development is slowed. Mm -hmm. Yes, especially we have heart conditions, you know, respiratory, uh, intestinal, kidney, or conditions like sickle cell anemia. Oh, uh -huh. Yeah, those are some conditions that will make a child growth and development very, very slow. Mm -hmm. You will notice that they, they, are, they are lagging behind in terms of milestones. But again, of course, nutrition. Yes, nutrition is key. Remember what we said, mm -hmm. maternal nutrition mm -hmm. during pregnancy, mm -hmm. what you're feeding this child, and of course the history. If a child was born preterm mm -hmm. or with low birth weight, mm -hmm. Yes, oh. preterm, I mean below six, below 36 weeks. Mm -hmm. You find that those children tend to, their growth is a bit slow. They mm -hmm. catch up at, at puberty, mm -hmm. but during these uh, formative years, mm -hmm. they might, you might notice that they are a bit slow, but oh. they will eventually catch up. So there's a number of factors. Okay. And of course, again, there are something like we call the hormonal. Mm -hmm. We have the growth hormone. Uh, we have uh, the, the thyroid hormone. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the, if, if the th those hormones are not functioning well, mm -hmm. a child's growth is, is retarded. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay, and, and my last question, okay, honest. I, I have seen some different types of cultures, and, and I feel sometimes their children grow a lot faster than Africans. Like, eh, they gonna come biggie. They're telling you they are 16, but they look 25. Yeah? Mm -hmm. I don't know if it's the food that they eat or something. But recently, I've also been I've been seeing the same type of situation at home. I'm seeing someone who is their age and their the way they look. They are like this. Mm -hmm. Like if you took a ground in different, <laughs> literally. Like yes. what's what's going on there? Are we not eating right? Are we eating the? Is it what we're eating that's bad for us? What's going on? Remember, we are mm -hmm. eating a lot of food mm -hmm. that is genetically modified mm -hmm. nowadays. A lot of food is genetically modified as opposed to we are eating the broiler chicken. Mm -hmm. no, sama, so, sa kukusama. Yeah, yeah, kukusama. <laughs> you know, we, the, what we are eating is changing with time. Mm -hmm. you, can't, you can't compare what our parents ate with what we, we are eating. Mm. Yes. So uh, it's, it's basically what we are eating. We're eating too much of processed food, mm -hmm. too much of processed food. But, you know, like the way you grow so strong, you, you know, you shoot, mm -hmm. but you're not necessarily that strong. Mm -hmm. If you look at that, that person, maybe they are, 20, they are 16 and mm -hmm. they look 25, but you lo if you look at them, their bone mass, mm -hmm. if you look at their micronutrient, you know, like the, the iron we are talking about, the zinc, mm -hmm. You know, the, you may find that they're having deficiencies, but the structure, because of the carbohydrates and the proteins that we're intaking, the structure looks, yes, mm -hmm. but, but the, you know, when you do a, di a deep dive mm. into the nitty gritties of nutri nutrition, like now, the, what I'm telling you about the iron, which mm. is very key, and the vitamins A, like vitamin A, vitamin D, mm -hmm. you find that we, we are lacking in some of these things. Yes. Because yes, we've concentrated why? mostly on the proteins and the carbohydrates, mm -hmm. which we, we are doing very well. If, if you walk around, you will find someone deep frying potatoes by the roadside, mm -hmm. another one doing mandazi muitu, mm -hmm. chapati muitu. You know, so the carbohydrate is all over. Mm -hmm. But, and this carbohydrate is from a processed flour. Mm -hmm. The flour has been processed. So it has lost most of the, nu the, the, the nutrients, the micronutrients. So when we, we struggle with issues with fiber, constipation. Once I poke constipation, it's not yes. a nice feeling. Guys. How fruits. Mm. And when you eat the fruits, mm -hmm. they are ripened with chemicals. You know, oh. we, have, we have a lot has changed. Hey, hey, it's on disease. Yeah, it's, yeah, it's on disease. Flawless. The, yes, the, uh -huh. the yellow, the super yellow Instead bananas. Instead of black, black dots, the way the, the good Lord made them. Yes. Mm -hmm. Ah. Okay. So there are all these factors. Mm -hmm. Yes. Lastly, what would you like to advise um, the audience? Because when there's a certain time when I was in high school, 
I don't know what was wrong with me, but my health was very, very imbalanced. And I was round. What a, at a sea round. Miss Dio Shepi Likwaji. But <laughs> now, <laughs> eh, my friend. I'm a Daniambia poor. Anyway, so on holidays, I'd go home. And the first thing we do in family gatherings is, of course, admire how big one boy is. At the, ah, then they even line me up. We start comparing with my elder aunties. At the, who looks bigger? Yeah. Oh, instead of doing all that, just tell the person, honor, look, you're too young to be looking like this. Mm? Please just check yourself. Maybe there's something wrong. Maybe there's something very, very wrong that could lead to something even more extreme. So how do we get ourselves out of out of ear? I don't even know what that frame of mind is. But how how do we that that the big is is better? Not really mm. better, mm. but we don't, we'd rather laugh at you mm. than advise you. Like, ah, oh, menona, mm. but like, we are nani, check mm. you, check mm. your nini, it could lead to high blood pressure or something, man, say, check yourself. Yeah, and unfortunately, I think it's a culture thing. Mm -hmm. Yeah, people, uh, you, people assume you, you know what you're doing most of the time. Oh. And you find that mm. there are people who have no idea that being that raising a child that big mm -hmm. you find maybe even your parents don't have any idea that when you're too much you have too much weight mm -hmm. for your age that it's it's detrimental it's it's a disaster you find that they don't know right now we're having issues of children who are in form two and they're having high blood pressure they're struggling what? with type one diabetes because of the weight oh. yes mm -hmm. so i think a lot needs to be done in terms of awareness mm -hmm. and in maybe school by school and case by case mm -hmm. we need to the government needs to do what we call education the mass education mm -hmm. yeah at least it's there it's, it's it's reaching out now it's improved it's not like before mm -hmm. but uh what i would say is even even when when now in the curriculum like i see my my son who is in grade three he, he has nutrition and hygiene. Mm -hmm. And I see they have good food. Mm -hmm. You know, they are those that have been marked X. Oh. So I, at least I think with, with this new curriculum, I think there's, there's something. Mm -hmm. Because remember when the government, when the other uh, pro curriculum dropped like home science, mm -hmm. and we, we stopped knowing what is a healthy diet, <laughs> what constitutes a balanced diet. Mm -hmm. And children have grown thinking, you know, children think sausage, chips, and, and, and sodas are the best thing mm -hmm. in life. And, if, if, and, and so long as a parent can afford, and mm. also a parents think if you're able to provide these types of food, you're doing well in life. Mm -hmm. So here is a child who can't wait to take chips, and here is a parent who can't wait to provide. Oh. So both the child and the, and the parent are ignorant. Mm -hmm. So we need to create awareness both to the parents and to the children. Mm -hmm. So when it starts in school, they will know that this type of food the teacher said it's not good mm -hmm. and then now if the parent doesn't know it's unfortunate but at least by the time the child goes to high school they will be at a better place mm -hmm. yeah but basically it's just education most people think that eating about ugari skuma and cab and and, and nyama mm. you're good balance yes mm -hmm. you balance you need to eat a variety mm -hmm. of food because different food have different nutrients Yes, you, you can't just live on ugali, nyama, and, and skuma wiki mm -hmm. for the rest of your life, in as much as the, the food is balanced. <laughs> you need to else. have a variety of food. Uh -huh. Change the ugali with bananas. Mm -hmm. Change the bananas with sweet potato. You know, change the, the sweet potato with white, mm -hmm. with, with wheat. Mm -hmm. Yeah, change the skuma wiki with something different, mm -hmm. you, with the managu, mm -hmm. the tereres. Mm -hmm. Yeah, those traditional vegetables. Change the meat with beans mm -hmm. and, and, and dengue. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and lentils. G have a variety of food. Eat, don't repeat a meal twice. Eat, and uh, even for your child, don't keep giving them the same type of food. Because Give them variety. Mm -hmm. Give them a variety of food so that you can make sure that they are getting different nutrients from different foods. Yes, and remember, always give children fruits. And always. especially citrus fruits. Citrus fruits are very high in vitamin C. Mm -hmm. And vitamin C is one of the nutrients that the body does not keep. Oh. So it, it eats if any excesses gotten rid of through the sweat, through the urine. Mm -hmm. So a child needs vitamin C constantly. Mm -hmm. You need to give your child vitamin C throughout. The oranges and the all oranges, mm -hmm. the, the citrus, mm -hmm. so the, the ones that will kill my you feel something, <laughs> you feel something here. Yeah. 
yeah. That's a nice lit must test. Yes. You just eat it. Yeah, you must feel something here. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Thank you so very much for coming to studio. We yes. have been informed. I am leaving a lot wiser. Thank you. Personally, thank you. And if you want to thank her, do it at Y254 on Facebook at Y254 channel on Twitter. Hashtag is Y in the morning. We are concluding the health segment and we're about to start Man Crush Monday. So don't you go anywhere.